Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We're out on the launch pad with our Venus Lander 1 as our Venus window is now upon us and we're going to try to make a much more successful attempt to actually get to Venus. Oh, I forgot. I need to wait until my inclination matches the moon. Although Venus is a little bit more inclined, this is a good place to start. So, uh, rendezvous planner. Our current Inclination's about 33 degrees. I would like to time warp, please. No? No time warping for me? There we go. Alright, so we're just going to warp around until that comes down a bit. Looks like it's going to be a while. It's topping out at 56 and coming on its way back down. Oh, that little stutter makes me very nervous. I've been running KSP for a while, so it's starting to uh, kind of act a little choppy. So uh, please don't mind me if I take some extra time to do some things. Play. 0 0.50. We'll take that. All right. KJR, please don't destroy my rocket. And we should be fueled up and ready to go. So uh, ignition sequence start. All right, not quite in orbit, but we are going to coast up to a comfortable apogee. Good, we'll have signal. No, I don't want to step that as a target. I want to create a maneuver node. Thank you for being jittery as hell right now, KSP. You're improving my experience every day. Yeah, that'll be good enough. We can go ahead and get rid of that. Toggle out of our map view. Engage our RCS. Uh oh. Looks like we are using RCS from our AJ10 stage. We should not be using. <laughs> uh, this is a struggle. Alright, we've got some rotation going while we're waiting for that. 
target Earth. Target Earth. Done. All right, that takes care of those two. Burn's going to take 28 seconds. it up because I forgot to ullage these engines risky stable we're gonna have a lot more left in the stage than we did uh, on the mission we sent to Mars I guess that has to do with the uh, mission to Mars had so many failures on launch I think we were down like two and a half engines by the time that first stage burned out. For this one, we actually took the time and built it the correct way. Alright, let's just go ahead and shut down there. We've got our orbit 425 by 261. Now we can start plotting for Venus. We'd like to do this quickly, although we've got uh, seven days until our launch pad is ready to launch the follow-up craft, which is the orbiter, hopefully. It does not have a heat shield, so it will not be air breaking, but we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Alright, mech jib. Maneuver planner. Advanced transfer to another planet. If you could bring up that pork chop section, please. How about ASAP? Six days, what are you talking about? Time now we can do it for six and a half kilometers per second. Uh, if we lowest delta V is in six days, and we'll give it, we'll do it in 3.42 kilometers per second. We'll just go ahead and create that node. Uh, how much boil off are we going to experience in the AJ10 stage? has only 1200 meters per second in it. We'll probably get a little bit more because we'll be firing the RCS also, but for 3400, that's exactly the AJ-10 and this stage, although that does not account for uh, liquid oxygen boil off, which we will undoubtedly have some of. We are, however, going to be using that RCS, so our final delta V will be higher than what this computes. Uh, same thing with the AJ-10 stage, and then this has 3,400 meters per second, which, if Mars isn't any indicator, that might be about what we need to do an orbital insertion. And that would be neat, but uh, the plan is really to just insert this from a free-fall trajectory and let it hit the atmosphere and do all of its braking like that, and then to insert this into an orbit to act as a comms relay. So uh, I guess we'll see how that goes. We are going to just double check our science instrumentation. Check. Oh, hey, look at that. Telemetry analysis from above Earth's grasslands. How do we not have that? I mean, really? And temp scan and Geiger counter and gravity scan. Well, all right, we got some, we got some free science out of this. Go ahead and toggle our magnetometer back off again. Yep, sehr gut. All right, well, uh, I wonder how long it's going to take to refurbish our launch pad. Uh, oh, wait, we should. Curl alarm clock. Add alarm. Maneuver node. Add alarm, thank you. All right, well. Uh, that's going to be this episode. I'm going to go check on some logistical things, and next time we'll be shooting for Venus. Hopefully, twice. Thanks for hanging out, guys. So I decided to just go ahead and include this launch in this episode, because it ends up being unbearably short. On with the show. This is the second half of our spacecraft going to Venus. Uh, again, on the Mega 1A rocket. Uh, this is the orbiter design. Relay and do all of the nifty orbital stuff science. It's got a few.
few experiments on it, our lander does not. Uh, this is the one that is actually supposed to fulfill the flyby contract, but I'm um, going to try for orbit, because I think we can do it. Um, provided, of course, that this rocket doesn't fail, like I mentioned Mars did, there should be uh, enough left in the tanks to hopefully do more bullet insertion, maybe with some mild aerobraking. Shit, 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 shit. Well, this got really awkward. Uh, I turned too hard and the ro rocket disintegrated. Of course it did. Uh, we might try to save the payload, although I don't see this going extraordinarily well for us. Yeah, they're still coming down way, way, way too fast. have started to slow, I don't think our rate of descent is going to make much of a difference. I don't think our Asteris is going to do us much good either. But we have to try. did much more good, just not in time. <laughs> Insufficient resources to ignite. Uh, how was there, oh, I guess there was a core attached to the to the top part of that, uh... Yeah, the thing. That guy. That little guy right there. Which we should probably swap out for a Saturn Avionics unit. Oh, little bits and pieces of rocket littering the oceans. Well... Uh, it looks like our lander is going to have to go at it solo. We do not have time to build another one of these. <laughs> My god. <laughs> How many parts are still in the air? Yeah, there's a couple. They're actually going to make landfall. What else we got? There's a decoupler. Oh, there's an engine. Certainly won't be reusing that one again. Can't decouple these. No core attached. There's a fairing. Well, that has been super interesting. So I'm going to take this as an opportunity to go ahead and uh, bring up our successful launch craft. Da, 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 da. Where did it go? Where are you? Venus Explorer? Venus Lander, sorry. Cannot switch vessels while in the atmosphere. Fine. Is 
that good enough? Now I can't switch vessels at all. All right. Whoa. Something bad happened. Oh, the whole planet is gone. All right. I need to reboot KSC, so we're just going to leave all of that till next time. Uh, thanks for watching me screw up yet another mission. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.